Butter chicken. Butter chicken. Hold Anthony's hand. Well, we picked up Anthony, and I'm pretty sure like a week and a half, two weeks later, we came out to Toronto to boot camp. He kind of gives us confidence by like just telling us like, you know, you guys are like way better than this, you know, start playing like it kind of thing. And it's kind of like a reminder that we don't really need to overthink anything. I mean, I think the biggest thing that I've helped the team with is like overall confidence. I think that the people are 100% like a lot more confident now uh, than they were in the past. And I think it's just like helping them realize like how good they are is something that I've always been pretty good at on all of my teams. You know, we had to like live up to what he wanted as a expectations and he was like pushing us and helping us, you know, fix our mistakes with like proper criticism. TSM loss was pretty easy as a team because it was our first match with Vanity. So we weren't like really a full team yet in my opinion. We we're still making a lot of mistakes and not having the best teamwork. Uh, and we were still kind of learning what maps were good on, what maps were bad at. So I'd say TSM kind of destroyed us in that veto at the time. Uh, they had a really good veto. And a lot of the old issues we had um, from before started coming back up in the game, especially on map two and three. We weren't playing confident at all. We played DSG. We lost first map, I think, and then we won the next two. And honestly, I don't think we should have lost the map. Backside, do they go? Do they know? No, they don't boost. No. He's got a chance, and of course he's gonna take it. Thinking about it. Oh, he's gonna play for a dangerous game. Same thing with Gate. Is Odin? Hey, for things. He's got a spin for the clock. Oh my God, what was that? He needed one more. We didn't lose confidence after the first map. Yeah, the next two maps were were very easy. Not exactly in a rush back to go in. It's gonna be a mistake. You won't get into the jaws. Nowhere to go. Spike out in the Oculus. Even one v one El Diablo. How good is he to get anything here? Spot one, there's one freebie, there's Spike. two freebies, there's three oh. freebies! I would say that going into our match against MAD, we were pretty confident. 9-3 curse is real, I guess. We lost pistol round after losing like a 9-3 half, it was 10-3. Bought a stinger, and then I did some magic. Somehow we won the game. My teammates are insane. And it's just one player on the left side. Dog wins the Be ready with a flash, here we go. An easy shot. And very first again, they're not going for the heel just oh yet. Gosh. But B Dog just has his head on the screen. Shut down. Oh no! Look at that! That is how they get in the site. Vic is here. It's Mana. And they're doing a damn good job of holding down this A site. It's just a matter of two more players in front. You mentioned empty B site. Vic goes down here. Could be free. But he still gets the first Jesus kill. Christ. He's Jesus feeling Vic. so crispy. I think Anthony is just, just very, very vocal about how he wants things done. I think that's like the biggest thing because I think like anyone can call strats, but I think like being like an emotional leader, even if like I get too emotional sometimes, uh, is pretty strong. And I think that it's required to like have high levels of success. Uh, so when we played Oxygen, I feel like we just didn't show up that day at all. Like that was literally like one of our worst days as a team, like as a collective. Like all individually, like teamwork wise, nothing was like going our way. This guy's been so good. This time he falls just short. We make it to get that spike planted. Gets stalled up for just a second. Now Scuba will assume that position is the blast packs. Look to buy some time. Only one remains. Double broken by. So necessary for Shopify. Oof. That, that hurts. B Dog forced to dash away and Vanity just gets random just outside. Definitely not a good feeling to lose a match like that, but. I mean, the important thing is that like we, we all reconvened after the match and kind of talked about what went wrong. Um, and I think like people are really good at giving and receiving criticism on this team, which is really good. I, re I feel like losing that game was, was better than winning. 
uh, just because it was like a huge wake up call. I mean, that loss was harder because we just lost to ourselves pretty much. They obviously played well, but we didn't show, like we were like 50% of what we should be. If you're afraid to face like all the hard questions, then you're never gonna get any better. Pretty happy overall with how much effort everyone puts in. If we ask someone to define something, they're not gonna like groan and complain, they're just gonna do it. And I think it, uh, it cultivates a pretty good team culture. We basically played Turtle Troop in an elimination game. It was pretty much winner takes it home, goes to playoffs, so we had to 2 0 them. Two on the other side of the map to deal with what? On no scope collapse. They just got cooked, like they got smoked. First round of playoffs, we're going against M80 again. I know it probably won't be as easy as last time, but I'm hoping for a good game. In the past, our players have shown up to respond to like the high pressure situations. And I'm really excited to just see if it unfolds how I hope it does. I would do some crazy things for like a home cooked meal in my bed right now.